got Sam in the van and taking it to uh, the Bozeman to be cast in the bronze. And uh, it's kind of a cloudy day. It's supposed to snow today, but most, most likely it's going to be tonight. It's a southerly wind, as you can see from the flag up there. Way up there. Anyway, um, it's 43 degrees right now. So it's not cold enough to snow, but it is probably about 10, 20 degrees colder up in the mountains. All right, pick this up at the foundry. This is Norris Pass. When I first moved here in Montana, this was a two-lane road winding up this mountain and it was so dangerous in the winter time I mean it literally was dangerous in the summertime and uh, then they straightened out the road got rid of the old road over on the hillside to my left and I'm gonna tell you here you'll see cuts in the side of the hill that's the old Bozeman Trail, or the Stagecoach Trail, that uh, wound its way up this uh, pass. You see different uh, cuts, different levels, that's different time frames. But that's the old Stagecoach route. About 40 miles directly straight up towards the north, which we're going right now, is uh, where the Gallatin, the Jefferson, and the Madison Rivers all join to make the headwaters of the Missouri River. The Missouri River starts 40 miles north of here. And it's one of the places where Lewis and Clark back in the 18 aught years, seven or eight, um, discovered the, the confluence of the three rivers and the beginning of the Missouri River. That was one of their goals uh, when they came out west, other than to find country that can be settled and draw maps that pioneers in the future could uh, follow. Where the uh, cattle roam now used to be a city of uh, several thousand people right here. It was a, they discovered gold uh, near here and uh, it uh, looked like San Francisco back in the early 1800s. It was that big. You know, there were streets, there were banks, and brick buildings, and as you can see, now there's sheep and cattle and uh, all the sidewalks, all the buildings, except for the uh, graveyard, which is right there, is all gone. I know I never show it. This is downtown Bozeman. I very seldom drive down through it because the mall and most of the stores I go to are <coughs> outside of Bozeman. Anyway, I'm going to Mackenzie River Pizza, which is down Main Street here. Is this Main Street? I think it is. The reason the streets are wide and were designed to be wide was so that ox teams could make a U-turn in the middle of the street back in the 1800s. I bet you didn't know that. I'm gonna put the camera down now because I need to find a parking space. Okay, there we're, this is Scott Billis and Todd Connor, and they're gonna be discussing the cost of producing this uh, clay into oh, a bronze. Pretty easy, yeah. I mean, I'd say, you know. All right, well, I'm gonna shut off the video here, and that will be it for the foundry. And uh, the clay is gonna be put into process. Well, we got everything done at the foundry. The uh, clay is uh, there to be made a mold of and uh, 
all the other things that need to be done are done. Only one left to do, and that's the uh, sitting Sam, which I will probably finish up next week. I want to work on a couple other things first. I just uh, need to get some stuff done. Anyway, as you can see, it's starting to snow, and uh, I think we're getting out of Bozeman just in time. That's going to be it for today. See you next time, people.